Jupiter is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Tatcha bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. <sighs> Seven misses. More misses than anyone else, but fewer bads. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Oh my god. Yeah, now that's music. <laughs> Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from Blue. there. It's no! Oh. No! What? What do you... What? BB, what the hell? Oh, oh, okay. That's a little more. I need two more saltpeter and I should be able to do it. Lucas has to stop picking up books. Going to end up with them everywhere. Uh oh. Um, let's transmit this before I. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on taking off. Uh, wrong oh, that was cool. I didn't realize for some reason that you could actually force pull enemies. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound is impressive. Oh. Ahead. Hi. Right. Okay. I was also looking at Star Citizen. Maybe you'll try that next week. Very nice, Jim. I've been having fun with it so far, even though I've never left this city, let alone this planet. So, this is my fancy ship that I got with my old... AMD R9 video card that I actually started streaming using. And then a few years ago, I upgraded to the 1080 and haven't uh, used it since. But I got this ship at the same time that I got that card. This is a racing ship. It has no cargo capacity at all. So it, it would be very difficult to try to make any money with this. Although... It might be possible to manually stuff some cargo in the back there, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's about that. I realized that when we went to Winterhold and I finally got my room at the college, and I... what the hell is...
That's so cool. There we go. <laughs> I love it when they knock themselves over. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. Climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife! <laughs> yes, I probably should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. Nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Okay. Oh. Shoot. Ah! Oh my god! Maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please! Yes, please uh... clip that! Oh my god! <laughs> Season. Um... Oh. Whoop. Whoops. What? What? Bessemar Essence de Doak? Sword's Dwarf has been found dead, completely drained of blood? And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Something's moving something around pretty good. In here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Construct and interact with a castle heart. Expand your territory by placing borders. Oh my god. I've been running around this whole place and this is all that I've seen. Barbane Waygate. 
Um, that's a freaking huge map. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that might require a little adjustment. <laughs> Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing today? Aaron Lore, it's good to see you. Hope all is going well. We're going to return to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom today. After we took a little bit of a surprise detour Sunday night with some fallout. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh, I guess it helps if I... There we go. Pop over here. Where were we? Oh, right. We're still here. So we've got to figure out a way to get out of here, which actually should be reasonably easy. I can make a boat to get out, or I could even just take the easy way. And we'll just descend. There we are. Hey, Winters, what's going on? Hammer, how's it going? Now you're on time, yes. Sunday was a little bit of an unusual situation. It's not a normal night for me to stream anymore. Hell, there are no normal nights for me to stream anymore. But it was a lot of fun. It was really good to do just a, you know, kind of a quick nighttime stream like that. I think we went, what, three and a half hours before my eyes got too burny to continue on. So it was pretty good. And I think I'm going to do that more often. I can't promise it all the time, and it won't necessarily always be Sunday. It'll be whenever the opportunity presents itself. You know, heck, I might even occasionally manage to get in a Saturday night stream, so I'll do the to stream a day thing, which I haven't done in a very long time. But, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, in some ways that would even be better than doing the Sunday stream, because then I get to do the nighttime weekend stream, but I also get my two days off. So that would be kind of nice. We'll see how it goes, and we'll see just how my schedule works out. If I've got too much to do, I'm not going to be able to do a bonus stream at all, but if I can, I will try. All right, so I think we're just about done with this island now. We've already talked to you, right? No, we haven't. Hey! I can tell just by looking at you that something happened. What's up? <clears throat> a cave hidden around back of the island, and there was a pirate ship? You beat every single pirate on the ship, too? Holy cow. You're like a one-man monster control crew. I mean, I'm part of a monster control crew, and I still lost my nerve. Thanks to you, I can finally breathe easy. Oh? Oh, I should probably give you some token of gratitude for risking your life. Here, accept this with my thanks. Blue-maned Lionel Saberhorn. The sharp blade-like horn of a blue-maned Lionel. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. That's 33 fuse attack power. How is that moderate? That's pretty badass. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. <laughs> Weren't expecting something that rare, were you? I picked it up on a previous Monster Control Crew expedition. I've been holding on to it as a lucky charm all this time, but you'll probably get more use out of it than I would. <laughs> now then, time to put together a report on what happened here and finally leave this island. Once I'm back, I'm turning over a new leaf. No more scare scaredy, Sasami. I'm going to be capable and courageous like you. So thanks for the help and the inspiration, mister. I hope I'll see you around. All the many hours you've watched this game and this is the first time you're seeing this island? It's a pretty good one. I mean, it's, uh, if we're being honest, it's easier than it was when you were playing Breath of the Wild. So this is, what is this called? Eventide Island. Just down here in the corner of the map. It was kind of a special place in, um, in Breath of the Wild. 
Now, it looks like we haven't done a whole lot out this way. This is all snowy terrain, isn't it? Yeah, we've got the Zora up here. These are all mountains and stuff. Man, I haven't done much underground down there either. <clears throat> I think we might go under just a little. Believe it or not, I'm actually starting to run a little thin on my shrine videos. Uh, now I say that, I just spent the better part of the last two days just focusing intently on pumping out shrine videos so that I can upload them, and I've got them scheduled to go out over the bulk of the next three weeks. But... I do have some that I haven't downloaded and processed yet. The ones that I had downloaded and which I've now got ready to upload or already uploaded only accounts for about 52, 53 of the 152 shrines in the game. So we need to find some more shrines. It seems more tropical than the other regions you usually see. Yeah, it is part of the southern reaches of the map. Definitely more on the tropical side. Whoa. What? What? Hello? Who are you? Nadra Scale. This precious scale contains supercooled air inside. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can be cooked, but just eating it seems like a waste. I was not expecting a frickin' dragon down here. Okay, so that's apparently a thing. Uh, now, which way are we going? Uh, oh, no, that's actually perfect, okay. Looks like there's something down there. Let's see what we got. It's starting to run a little low on my larger seeds. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Canyon of Awakening Mine. That's a curious name. We're nowhere near the Shrine of Awakening.
You know, boo, where are you? I need your cannon ask nature. Thank you. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's not do that. That scatters crap way too far. I'll never find it all. hammer soon. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, looks like I still have a few. <laughs> that can't be it, right? There's usually a much bigger vein somewhere that you can take advantage of. across the way. Okay. You know, boo. Perfect for this. Thank you. Is it only 20 days till Baldur's Gate 3? Oh my god, and 50 till Star... Wow. That's amazing. I can't wait. That's gonna be so cool. as it seems. I'm gonna find some more light roots <clears throat> to make, oh, nope, nope, to make finding shrines easier. It doesn't help that the light roots themselves are difficult to find.
one of these days I need to figure out what it is you're supposed to actually do with all this Poe stuff. for that? I don't know that I do. I mean, it's possible. Let's take a quick look. I assume it's a side adventure. Oops. Princess sightings. Overdue guests, beast with brutal tusks, Zelda's golden horse, princess kidnapped, flute player's plan, fireflies, oh I can actually, now that I've got the stealth suit, I can get fireflies a lot more easily, peace to various places, the search for Colton, Messages from an ancient era. Master Koga. That's it for side adventures. Shrine quests. Side quests. Spotting spot. That's a horse. Uh, the ancient city of Gorondia. Moon gazing Gorons. The fierce deity. Gathering pirates. Elden's colossal fossil. After an extended stay in Hotno Village, Rolera has returned home to Luralin Village, and she wants to come up with something that will draw visitors to the small fishing town. Unfortunately, she's too hungry to focus. She's craving a dish made with porgy, hilly, and rice, and goron spice. I don't think I've got a quest that deals with it, unless it's somehow a main quest, which I suppose is possible. It just seems a little weird for a main quest. Maybe there's a quest available that deals with it, but I might not necessarily actually have it yet. If you had a last meal, what would it be on planet Earth? Well, I will have a last meal eventually, at some point. I have no idea what it'll be. I don't know what I would want it to be. Um, that's kind of a tough one. Lasagna, maybe? Really good, abnormally good pizza? favorites would be and that looks like a guy that's a thing there's a statue next to Josha at the lookout landing to turn the pose in hmm okay well I didn't realize it would actually be at lookout landing I figured it would be in the underdark here so that's good to know I've been looking in the wrong spot all this time. what I had in mind, but thank you. Uh 
Oh, crap. Not today, sir. someone's attention. That's funny. Oh, you sons. No. Oh. Go away. Damn it, they got it. Oh, crap. Uh... Oh, my bow died. Now, was it just the bats that were alerted by my... Yeah, I think it must be. There's nobody else here. I was expecting more of an encampment. Flux Construct 2. It's not too bad. It's just weirding me out that we've gone so far into the darkness and not found a single light route anywhere. I mean, I guess it could be really high up at an angle we can't see it, but that's, it's still, I don't like it. Ah, oh, they're going for it again. I guess I should also maybe consider, where's my suit? Speaking of darkness. I wonder if they destroyed it, or did I destroy it with the bomb? I could see either being true. Not a bad way to gather up 
Zonite, though. There are more in the dark. The top statue can lead you to them for a hundred po. Okay. Oh, here's we. Here we've got some guys. Nope. Nope. Whoops. They will never spot me in this brightly glowing outfit in the incredibly dark location. Still kind of spotting me. Stalnox. Let me make some room here. Perfect. Love it when they cooperate like that. Kill it, I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, I could try it. Here, let me just... Maybe save the game first. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Holy crap. Um I hope I still oh, jeez, I don't have any gloom food. Crap. Uh This might have been an error. Possibly not the best idea I've ever had. I like my archery idea better.
Come on. Didn't care for that one. Knight's Claymore. Stalnok's Horn. 29 fuse attack power. The impaled skulls should serve as a warning, but if you do obtain one, attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. Or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Henox Tooth. You know, that might be the first Henox I've taken out in Tears of the Kingdom, now that I think about it. So there should be one here. Have we not already done this one? I guess we have not done this one. Dropped some fairly nice stuff. Maybe not the nicest stuff ever. But Henoxes aren't that tough. You know, you can't expect world class crap from them. the outfit again. I forgot. I like to do a combo. The extra climbing speed tends to be pretty helpful. interesting over there. No. Not today. what that is. Oh. Okay, maybe that's not quite so fun. 
It's Yiga Clan. Abandoned Kakariko Mine. Well, that's all right. I'll we'll mark that as a Yiga Clan stronghold. One of these days, I am going to have to actually infiltrate one of those places. And by infiltrate, I mean depopulate. There's the frickin' light route. How long have we been down here? It's been like 40 minutes. And this is the first one. set up. Authorizer verified. Welcome. I am a forge construct. I process zonite here into other materials. Okay, okay. We've already had this speech from another guardian. Why do we have to do it again? Yes, very much so. I would like all of these. Uh, how many of these can I afford? I've got 63... I'll take them all. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. That's gonna get me at least, oh my god, almost two more batteries. Not bad. Or not batteries, but you know what I mean. Um. Two more battery charge things. Okay, it actually looks like the one that we spotted is not the one that I had marked. So maybe that's above us? I'm gonna see if I can get up higher here. I mean, I'm okay with finding a completely unknown one, because that means there's a shrine that we need to locate, but still. Let me just also verify our location. Okay, so there should be no 
big wall here. This should be a cliff with a top that we can reach. And while I'm very low on anti-gloom food, I've got plenty of stamina food, if I remember right. That looks like the top edge there. Problem, Aaron Lord. Enjoy your day. See you back here when you can be here if you can return. Oh my god. No. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, oh. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. Oop, oop, not Dazzle Fruit. Yeah. That's what we were looking for. You need 96 light roots? I'm not sure how many... How many are there in the game? The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. There are 120. Well, I've been on a mission to upload videos with the solutions to every single shrine, which means I'm probably going to end up finding all the light roots by default as well. Uh, there's got to be more light roots out here that I missed. Still, this is a pretty good spot to have found one. Oh, and there's the other one. That's the other one I was headed to. So that... Oh, that corresponds to that. That's already a known shrine. Interesting. I'll show you quickly what I've got here. Um, I've got a fair number of them, but I've still also got a very long way to go. Yeah, almost every. There are a few where they're a little bit offset from one another, but that's uh, rare. Usually the light root is directly underneath the shrine that corresponds to it. But I think there were a small handful of them that they had to, you know, actually shift it a little bit just because of terrain constraints and whatnot. Nope, I have not done the sages yet. I've done the wind temple and I've done the fire temple. I have not done water or electricity yet. I'm not really in a big rush to finish this game. It took me three years to beat Breath of the Wild because I just enjoyed going around, taking my time and kind of being very leisurely about it. And I've been a little more focused on this one, but 
I still enjoy just letting it, you know, take the time it's going to take. I, I don't want to necessarily force it. And besides, I've still got at least another month to kill before Baldur's Gate 3 comes out. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna take a different approach. We're gonna climb up here, and then we're gonna walk up top of this rock extrusion thing. Yeah, we've got almost a month. Actually, it's more like 20 days until Baldur's Gate 3 comes out. And then... About 50 days until Starfield comes out, and then City Skylines 2 comes out later this year, too. And... Hang on. Oh. Never mind, that doesn't look climbable. In that case, we're gonna go along here. This is when you need Rivali's Gale. Yeah, I know. I kind of miss that one on occasion. Whoops. Thanks, you know, boo. I will say, though, I really like Yunobu's power in this one. It literally changed the game quite a bit when I got that. Oh. Um. Oh, hello. I'm not especially interested in fighting him. Although he's probably a lot easier than the Igneo Talus I had to destroy last time I streamed this game. Though the Igneo Talus, deadly as he was, at least he didn't have bloom. So maybe I'm wrong about that. get on and mark all the light routes you can? Yeah. Well, one of the things that I'm trying to do to make that and the shrine thing easier is... Where'd he go? Oh, he's down there. Okay. I need to increase my battery capacity quite a bit, so part of the reason I'm down here is not just to find the light routes. It's to get zonite <laughs> and crystal charges so that I can get better power. This does not look like it's going to cooperate very nicely, does it? Yeah. Oh, never mind. There's a path. Hip. Hip. With battery power, I should be able to make some kind of uh, flying vehicle that I can use to zip around a lot more quickly and safely. And then find all the light routes.
Okay, so where was this one? This was a little northwest of the last one, I believe. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. That was a much bigger increase than I expected. Damn, that's nice. I like that. Okay. Now I just need something like that for over here and we're in business. Now, I never did find our little thing, the uh, the active vein of Zonite for the abandoned Kakariko mine. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. I think we're probably good with that. Since I've got lots of crystalline charges, let's go visit our friend who can actually improve my battery status. Get me another couple of, uh, actually, probably only one. I think I'm very close to a second, but let's let's see how far we can bring our battery up. Cause I've been kind of slacking on that all game so far, I have to admit. Which is a shame, because I use vehicles all the time. Okay, so I need a few more. One more and I've got my fourth complete battery. Let's see. I don't think I can afford it right now, but let's find out. Oh, and a three and a half minute warning, folks. Ads are going to be starting in three and a half minutes, but you won't have to miss anything because what I do is when ad breaks come up like that, I go on a break myself for about three and a half to five minutes or so. And I run a series of clips while that's on, so you won't have to miss a thing. Now, I probably can't afford any of the big guys here. Oh, actually, I am wrong. I can afford at least three or four. Four. will do. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Do we have more zonite in the immediate area here that I can take advantage of? Oh, I didn't mark the zonite on the Hillia Canyon mind map. Maybe I should do that. Marked all the light routes, very nice. Is there not supposed to be a minecart around here somewhere?
I haven't used the tracks in this area in a while. Well, not here. I managed to beat one of the Colosseums. It's kind of a hidden one. This one wasn't too, too terrible. It was actually pretty fun. But it's the only one that I've attempted. Breath of the Wild effectively put me off most of the Colosseums. I only did that one down there because I got stuck in it, and I could uh, I could only bypass it by reloading a fairly old save at that point, so I had to beat it. Whoop. Whoops. Um, maybe I'll just travel there. I don't think I'm familiar with the one in the forest. That's okay, though. I'll probably figure it out eventually. I like just exploring a lot in this game. Oh, um, actually, ads are starting soon, which means I should start my break right now. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes, or roughly after the ad break is complete. I'm going to go make myself some more coffee, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a bit. Oh no, what the hell? Oh crap. And Stara, what the hell are you doing here? Oh crap. Oop. <laughs> Synthetic stomach, huh? Oh, good. And Stara, you would be the one that does medical stuffs. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> Aranlor has failed catastrophically while operating on Anstara. Skill trainer. <laughs> uh, is that a hint? Aranlor. Use skill trainer to learn medical. <laughs> oh boy. Aaron Lor failed in a minor way while operating on Anstara. <laughs> Two synthetic stomachs. You're really determined, aren't you? There we go. You're all fixed up now, Anstara. Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! Oh my god. I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but... I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my jeep back? What the what happened there? They have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Hey, 
Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach, but haven't yet. Oh, no, he's getting away. Too bad. too bad. Huh, neat. We ready? Happy New Year. There we go. And I even have champagne to toast. Goodbye, 2021. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. I forgot I was building the Taj Mahal. <laughs> There's the other connector. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh... That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Where we're going, we don't need road. That hits entirely differently in this game than it normally does. I'm used to hearing that one in Far Cry when I fly somewhere. Oh my god! That has to be a reference. That must be a reference. There's no way that's not a reference. Strog jog rog. Um. Fight with me. Nice. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> and I am back. Ugh. Where did I leave the game? There we go. All right. Okay, so we just went to this light route, and I wanted to go. I guess we've got here, and we've got here. Let's go back to the Hillia Canyon mine. Which way is that? Other way. 
Thank you, Winters. How are you doing, Winters? It's good to see you. Well, we've got these guys over here. I could murder them and steal their Zonite. We've got some uncontested zonite up here that might be enough for my purposes. What the heck? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. By the way, folks, just a note on things here. Please do not be offended if I do not welcome you by name. I try to make it a policy not to call people out when they first arrive. So, if you just follow, please feel free to lurk, do whatever you need to do. It's totally okay. I love my lurkers. I get a lot of lurkers in my channel. Lurkers are the unsung heroes of Twitch, and I will leave you to your lurking. No problem at all, ever. Uh, if you do feel like speaking up, then that's cool, and that's when I will acknowledge you by name. There we go. Ooh, lots of stuff down here. Oops. Okay, that was maybe not the most graceful of descents. Okay, six. You know, that might actually do it. Uh, oh, 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 that respawns? Oh, that's amazing. That's uh, incredible. Let's go, sir. You know what to do. Beautiful. Gotten five light roots. Very nice, Rad. Very, very nice. That's certainly more than I've managed to get in the last hour. This, in, in fairness to myself, this does not seem like a terribly densely packed area for light roots, though. Or the area that I was just in, anyway. as I can get. Alright, let's go back to the landing again. That should get me at least two more energy wells. Slowly winding down for the night. Nice, Winters. It's before noon for you. It's a bit afternoon for me. It's 1.25 in the afternoon. I typically start my stream at noon and then I'll be going, what is today, Tuesday? I'll be going till about 6.30 in the afternoon. Perfect. So I ended up getting three energy wells out of that. That's a lot more than I expected to get. That's really awesome. That's probably enough battery expansion for today, though. I'm not going to make this an exclusive battery expansion stream or anything like that, as much as that would be useful. 
I've now got way more power than I've ever had before in the game, so I'm gonna be happy with that. I would enjoy further visits from you. Alright. Now, did we manage to... Let's verify if we managed to uncover any new shrines I was not aware of previously. It kind of looks like no. <laughs> Damn it. But we've also... Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what we should do. I have not visited the Great Hyrule Forest yet in this game. And it does look like there should be... There should be a shrine there. Maybe we'll head over to this region. But we're gonna do it the Gord way. Which basically just means I'm gonna have to make a vehicle and drive all the way there, because why not? We gotta test out the new battery power, right? One of these days, we've also got to get back to the Gerudo area. I made my way there. Oh. Hello. How did I never notice you? I think we're going to make that our immediate priority. Then we'll come back. And then we'll make a vehicle. And then we're going to head over to the Great Hyrule Forest. I can't believe that's been staring me in the face this whole time and I never thought to go there. I don't even remember seeing or noticing that. Maybe it's because it's nighttime. I usually find myself here during the day for whatever reason. It probably doesn't stand out quite as well. We've also got to get back to work on getting more of these fairies out of there. Hiding there. I've got one of them so far means we've got work to do. Okay, and now up we go. I haven't 
gotten many swift pilots so far. Oh, hello, what do we have here? <laughs> that was... I was looking for the frog, not to launch explosives, but thank you. What the heck? Sonopan Shrine, but what is going on with all these apples? This is like the land of the apple trees. And all of them have five gazillion million apples, I swear. Hello. Jesus, there's so many apples. I'm just gonna take a quick run around, see if I can find any more goldens. Oh. You son of a gun. Today, sir. good enough. But you know what? Oh, there's another one. Let me mark this area, because holy crap, this is quite the area. What are we going to stamp this with? Put that there. And then I would like to take a quick look at this area down here, although it doesn't look anywhere near as impressive, sadly. Maybe hard to tell from this angle. Greenie, how you doing? Look at this frickin' apple grove. Oh my god, there's another golden. There were so many apples here. And there's another one. Two. Sorry. My mistake. Tory Mountain. I think that might be accurate. Ow. Where are we? Yep, you are correct. But, uh, anyway. If there's anybody hanging out here who is not following Greeny Trini, please make sure you do. 
He has been a friend of the channel for a very long time now. He is an awesome friend, awesome streamer, really cool guy, really excellent vibes. You'll enjoy spending time with him if you're able to catch him live. Missing Pathways, Sonopin Shrine. Got to be related to a chest somewhere. Can't think of any other reason why they would. Yeah, there we go. That's a little weird, but okay. climb up these things. Let's just park that there then. And I'm gonna drop that down there. Then I'm gonna stand on it. take it. Maybe not the most exciting of uh, rewards, but I'll take it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not quite as straightforward as I thought it was. Interesting. Yeah, a bundle of five arrows. I mean, not the worst thing ever. I've got to do the same thing again, I guess. That's fine. Do that. <laughs> You're not exactly doing the thing. That, that's close enough. Oh, what the hell? Every time I think I've got this figured out, I thought this was going to be really easy. And in fairness, it's not exactly super difficult so far. <laughs>
Don't, don't backseat the solutions to shrines, please. I would rather figure them out myself. never did spot a chest, unless, did I already, no, I already grabbed that, didn't I? Okay, so we're good. <laughs> Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. and that'll get me another heart. And I'm finally healed after all of our misadventures in the Underdark. Okay. So now we can go back to the uh, stable, or the... Yeah, the stable. And we can build ourselves a car, and we can go to the Great Hyrule Forest. After I do one more quick sweep for some more golden apples, if there are any. Oh, there's one. Not bad. Uh, 
I, I think that'll probably do. Um... Right. There we go. build thing had better symmetry controls. It's actually pretty good. The symmetry controls are quite good. They're better than you think they are. I know visually it doesn't look like it, but it has pretty decent snap points most of the time. I'm not saying it never gets it wrong, but it's harder to get it wrong than you think it is. Spear? I mean, like putting wheels on one side and having them be X amount in from the front back. But isn't that what I just did? I'm not sure what the problem is. I mean, usually I put them on the corners. But this truck, by default, it has them sort of inset a little bit from the corners. And that actually sometimes helps with the turning radius, so I've left it that way for now. Oh, I should probably figure out the route we're using. Uh, okay, so it looks like we can basically just go to Lookout Landing. is yes. Okay, hang on. Oh, hello.
You know who we have not seen in a long time? We have not seen Addison in quite some time now. So if you put a wheel one body length in on the front, it'll snap a bit to match the same inset on the back? No, it's that these points here where the wheels are attached, those are pre-existing snap points. I disagree. I am perfectly content to not find our friend, Mr. Lionel. He's quite busy living his life, and I am very content to leave him to it. Well, you do have to choose where to put the wheels, but... Uh, the choice is helped by having pre-existing snap points. Now, you're not necessarily strictly limited to them. If I really wanted to do something different, I think I could. But then I would have to manually... Yeah, see, I can, I can kind of force the issue there and make it off. Ow. Rude. So if I want to do something other than the predefined snap points, I can do it. But there's no aid for that. Like, I don't think it's going to create a separate spawn point here. Or a snap point, rather. To help me match this up, if I do that. In fact, it's just going to be really tricky. So I'm going to leave that there. I was expecting. Come on back, you know, dude. That's better. Get him! Get him! You know, boo. Get back here. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Cheating, sir, what the hell? <laughs> Victory is ours. Bravo, everyone. Hi. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Oh. Just incredible. No monster is a match for you, eh, Link? Oh. Come to think of it, Link, I was told that you wield a special sword, one more <laughs> magnificent than all the others. I don't mean to be rude, but your weapon doesn't seem all that different from ours. Oh. The one I heard about reveals its true power when wielded by someone worthy. Could that be it? Oh, uh, well, I'll be the first to admit when there's a gap in my knowledge. Hmm. 
I'm so sorry. I nearly forgot something very important. Thank you. It's part of the bounty given to the monster control crew, so please don't hesitate to accept it. Ooh. We plan to head southeast after this, Fort Hot to, to Fort Hot No in Nekludo. I hope I get the chance to fight beside you again. Hey. May you fight with the goddess Ilea's divine protection, brave swordsman. I believe so, Aranar. I believe so. But we haven't actually restored that yet. It's still kind of a heaping wreck of garbage at the moment. you know it's maybe not the worst idea the mister sword yes it's a puzzle to find it is it's true Oh, shoot. I... That was the worst idea in the world. Now I've gotten rid of my vehicle. Crap. Well, maybe we don't need it. This time, oh, actually, I just did that by habit. I don't really want to do that. Let's go there instead. I have a house. I might as well make use of it. I have to get used to the fact that I actually own property now again. Three stories, very nice. I haven't done much with it yet. I've got the simple bedroom, I've got the foyer, I've added this nice living space that's all furnished. I've got the shrine here that I can get a new heart and that'll heal me up. And I've got the cooking area, the kitchen. That's about it though. I will expand it of course, but my funds have been relatively limited. I just wanted to get the really basic stuff down so that I can do all the things. And then I'll do all the extra things later. Okay. Once I started collecting special weapons, I decided I needed multiple weapon display rooms. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Enjoy your lurk, Aranar.
see what we've got here. Maybe I can make a new vehicle. Hey, I'm not done. Stop it. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I'm used to the powered wheels, but we'll see if I can make this work. But I gotta say, I don't love this nearly as much as I like the usual style. Wow, oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> this is terrible! Wow, okay. Okay, no, no. This is not going to cut it. This is really, really bad. Star Wars Force Unleashed is available through Pi Prime Gaming. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually a really fun game. I never finished the second one. But the first one is pretty good. I'm not sure this is going to be a whole lot better. I think it'll control better. Maybe. If I'm lucky. It's not bad. I think it might be more energy efficient than the four-wheeled variety I usually go with. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit careful about how I park it. Oh my god. Really? Ow. Get him. Thank you. That was not my intention. Okay, I gotta say, of all the car designs that I've come up with, this is really not my favorite. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of hate this. <laughs> come on, guys. It's almost that time again. Four minute warning for our next ad break. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I've been here before. Link, come on. Really? Rude. Get him. surprised we haven't seen Addison around here. a terrible design. I don't care for it. I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to use a variation. Hey, 
Gym. What the heck, Jim? Thank you so much for oh, hello, being God in chat. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. What's going on? Oh, you were back to iRacing. How's iRacing treating you? Tell me all the things. I hope it's doing well. Guys, if you are not following Jim Racer, he's an awesome friend of the channel, has been for a very long time. He specializes heavily in both science fiction games, and more recently, he's done a bit of a return to his original racing game uh, sort of specialty. So he varies between the two of them, racing games and sci-fi games. So if you like either or both of those things, I recommend that highly. And we have ads in progress, so I'll be back in just a few minutes. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. It's time for a hard reset, Ted. Oh my god. Well. That's a hell of an intro. Timing. Uh oh. Well, it's aptly named. Oh, hi. Sorry, Uthgert. <laughs> so far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out back. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. No! Crash it to us now! She's gone! Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Hey, guys. Yeah, yeah, Drop yeah, the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not. I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. did somebody drop the anchor finally, or? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I, uh, sorry for uh, that. Now oh, we okay. something. So we're gonna clip of that one. Fine. <laughs> oh, right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. That caught me a little by surprise. But thank you so much for the resub, Jim. It's good to see you, Ben Fleet Games. How's everybody doing today? Uh... Where did my controller go? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Jim. Now... I guess I just need a couple more, huh? I mean, I could try using it the way it is, but I don't think that it would... Maybe I'll just do one more. <laughs> This'll be fine, right? 
It's a tricycle. Thank you, Sketchy. How are you doing? The return to iRacing wasn't bad last night. You have a lot of rust to shake off. That's okay. I'm sure you'll be able to do it in no time. So we still have to navigate this. Oh, look what. Let's make one modification. Duck. Ben Fleet Games, thank you so heckin' much for half a year of support. I really appreciate it. DK won the last and it was something who was but here you go. Thank you, thank you. Really, really appreciate that. Welcome on in. You are a lore keeper for a full half a year. That's pretty awesome. Lost Woods. Now I'm curious about something. Uh, okay, interesting. So putting the uh, the glow seed onto the vehicle does not get incorporated into your history. Hey, Onstara, how's it going? Interesting. Do we have to do the torch thing in this the way we did in Breath of the Wild? Maybe I'm not geared up for this properly. We might have to retreat and come back. Uh, no, actually, I'm just going to assume that I'm correct. Don't confirm it yet. If I come back with a torch and can't figure it out, then I'll ask for clarification. But for the time being, let's just uh, let's just roll with it. Head back to the stable. There's usually a torch around there, I think. Let's see if I can't figure it out. I'm not sure I like this with the tire missing. It feels unbalanced. Whoa! Okay, it's not just an unsubstantiated feeling, then. <laughs> the bees went for him. That's amazing. <laughs> I love this. Get him! He's totally the one that went for your hive. <laughs> Amazing. And now they're ignoring me. I love it. Holy raw prime meat. Damn. That guy was really holding out. Oh, crap. Where did the hive go? I did... Oh, there it is.
Okay, yeah. I was trying to save a Zonite device, but I really think I would need that extra wheel. Or even if I don't really need it, I definitely want it. see if we can't find a torch. time again. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters Again. Okay then. Now we'll head back down. Maybe I have been here? I guess I must have been here already. Sky, you say? What a preposterous notion. Ah. There's nothing cuter than the sleeping face of my granddaughter. Oh. oh, excuse me. If you would like me to show you around the area, I'd ask you to please wait until morning. The, this little girl is my granddaughter. She's been fascinated by the sky ever since she was able to lift her head. Since the upheaval, her eyes and imagination have been fixed on those islands floating up there. Maybe when she grows up, she'll be like those researchers and travel the world chasing her passions. <laughs> it's funny. When I dream of her future, I can't help but want to spend time with her now.
you guys have respawned again already? Oh, forget it. I'm done with you guys. Okay, now I am curious about one thing. I'm kind of regretting putting that thing right there. Where's our torch? I was going to rent Transformers Rise of the Beast today, but forgot that it's release day, rice, rent prices since... Di oh, okay. Digital release today. Oh, that's the newer Transformers one, isn't it? I haven't really kept up with the franchise, I have to admit. the torch. I might have to just light the torch and then attach it. Oh, of course. Now it... Oh, it goes and rains. That's rude game. Very rude. I suppose I could build a sheltered campfire. Uh, I'll just stick around here until the rain ends. Maybe we'll do a little hunting. I need meat anyway. Is that the first warm darner I've actually caught? That's surprising. I'll get the max stealth bonus I can get. meat. Okay, looks like the rain is done. It's just trolling me now. What the hell? <laughs> still, I suppose, better now than when I was still trying to get everything set up.
Okay, let's see. still doesn't want to burn, even though I've technically got it covered with a roof. Okay, it's ending now. This is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Well, it is throwing off sparks like it did in the other game. Directional, though, which is a little problem. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Serious question time now, then. Since this doesn't appear to be the answer, maybe I have to be holding the torch. I will accept directions on how we get through this part. You felt. Oh, you. <laughs> you probably just flew in, didn't you, Greeny? can't fly in. Did you maybe swim in? You know how you passed a chasm earlier? Yes, I have been there before. That's how I got into this area. Well, maybe we're just not destined to do the Great Hyrule Forest section quite yet. can't go through it or over it, go under it? Interesting. I don't particularly want to do that right now, but that's a f fun thought and we'll probably come back to that at some point. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, there is a tiny little chasm right here, too. Maybe we should check that out. And I would be willing to bet there's got to be... Well, maybe not. I was going to say there should be a shrine around there somewhere, but that really doesn't look like there will be, will there? Oops. Oh. Well, that's... Not what I was hoping for, but okay.
playing Breath of the Wild for the first time. Oh, man. I gotta say, oh, whoops. Be with you in just a moment. Ugh. Oh, that's, oh, man, okay. Breath of the Wild is great. I do prefer this one, but I loved Breath of the Wild. Just because I prefer this one doesn't mean Breath of the Wild is suddenly become terrible or anything like that. It's still an amazing game. And I do occasionally go back into my save and continue on with it when I'm not streaming this one. So I hope you have a lot of fun with that. How far have you got with it so far? Oh, you're still on the Great Plateau, so you're very early days then. That's interesting. You got a lot coming up. What's that? That's the Great Fairy Fountain. Let's start turning off-road here. Oh, she's the... Wait, hang on. She's the one that we've already gotten out of her, uh, hiding. <laughs> the air out here is terrible. Huh? You came to me ha to have your clothing enhanced, right? Mm -hmm. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little. Huh? Let's go with... Yeah, we'll do the stealth suit. Mm -hmm. Done. Amazing. Very fine work, I must say. A resourceful hero like you surely wants to unlock even greater potential, yes? Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Not every set, mind you, but some. Oh. What about the others? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Trying to get the glider? Keep at it. <sighs> I will say nothing, but you will have no problem. And then I'd also like the glow suit, I think. I want to try to do them in sets of three so that they're not all scattered all over the place and in weird orders mm -hmm. in my inventory. Why can I not do that one? Oh, is that already... It's already enhanced, unfortunately. Hmm... I have to correct that when I get the second fairy out. Some of these vocalizations are interesting. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Okay, so that's the Snow Quill set all done. And I think we can do the entire. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, the Flame Breaker. 
What do I need for that? Oh, no, I can't actually. I need more moblin horns. Wait, I can do the ember headdress? Mm. Mm. <sighs> nice. Okay, I think I'm good now. It seems my little sisters are still secluding themselves in their flower buds in distress. If you see a giant flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, please pay, play lovely music for them too. My little sister Mia said she was going to a stable in Hebrae in the northwest. Well then, I'm headed home. You can, okay, you can, oh, you can sort by set? That's beautiful, I love it. I didn't realize that. Okay, so I don't have to care. It always bothered me in Breath of the Wild that I ended up with all my sets scattered all over the place and the only way to change it was by upgrading them. Unless maybe I went through the entire game over three years without realizing that you could sort there too, but I don't think that's true. Oh! Oh! Oops. <sighs> well... There goes that truck. It was nice while it lasted. I was going... Right, Elma Knowles. Oh, is that a whiz robe over there? Lovely. Okay, that looks like that's it oh, over there. Let's see if we can't head over there and figure out what's going on with that. That was not what I had in mind. Thanks, you know, boo. Saw nothing. Nobody to chase here. Ooh. 
Huh. Now that, I was not expecting. It's one of these days we'll have to make a flying vehicle and actually visit the castle. I still have to get that new champion's tunic, too, from the throne room. Although, I don't know if the throne room of Castle Hyrule is a place we want to visit this early. It kind of seems like that might be related to the eventual end of the game. Unless we have to go deep under the castle once more. Which also seems, if I'm being honest, roughly equally likely. to actually go down there because we've been to the underside already. I just need to get this on my map. Elma Knoll's Chasm. And that's right around this base of the Yiga clan. So we could drop right down there and we would just land in the lake. don't know yet what's above. It doesn't look like there's much of anything, but we've been up there a little bit. There was a shrine there, and yeah. Now, I wonder, where is... Where's that shrine? Oh, it's not visible from over here. Oh. Whoa. How did I miss you? What the hell? That's a tricky one. What the heck? Where is that? Oh, that's just down here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. I think I see. Wow. All right. That's going to be a useful one to know about for the light route spotting. I would love to know what happened to the shrine up there, though. Why is that suddenly gone? Do they have shrines? This is a serious question. You can answer me this. Are there shrines that only appear at certain times of day or maybe in certain weather conditions or something? There's another one out there. Oh, that one's the blue one. Some have puzzles to make them appear, but nothing specific is coming to mind. Oh, maybe it was just blocked. That's really weird. So that could potentially be a location. Huck. 
wait a second. Is that thing freaking floating? There's no way it's floating, is it? That's got to be in a cave. Oh, it's it's on the hillside. Okay. But that looks like... Haven't I already done that one? That can't be the one that I'm looking for. No, it's up there. Some of these are just... Okay, so yeah, so that's a different shrine. Some of these are really weird to spot. They're so obvious from one angle and completely invisible anywhere else. Oh, is it? Oh, shoot. This is going to be inside a fortress, isn't it? So that's going to be fun. Or is it maybe right beside the fortress? I did need more mobbing parts. This is one way to go about getting them. Except that's a black moblin horn is not really going to help me very much. over there. I'm curious. My marker's right here. Feels like I've been looking for this particular shrine for a very long time now. Hmm. 
Jump the Gaps. Alright, let's see what we got here. Easy enough. So far, at least. So they've given me another couple of pieces. There's another ramp. Presumably this is going to work similarly. Uh, but we do have a chest over here. Hang on a second. That looks like a job for a bridge. Strong Zonite Shield, 26, not bad. Something from Portal 2. A lot of the shrines will feel that way. It's a very similar kind of puzzle mechanic where you're given physics situations and you have to devise the solutions to them. I see the problem.
it. Closer, though. Let's try something. I don't think there's much chance this one's gonna work. But we'll give it a shot anyway. Because why not? Nope, that's definitely not working. But I wanna see what happens. <laughs> we probably don't need to use the second lengthy one because it was part of the solution of the other side. Well, it's interesting that they gave us a ladder to down there. There's nothing else here that we can use, is there? They didn't hide anything off a ledge. itself. Well, let's try the most obvious solution, which I don't think I've actually done yet. Yep, so it was that easy. What do you know? Five minute warning, guys. Five minutes and we will be done. Or, not done. We'll be taking a break. Sorry, I misspoke. I guess I always just like to really overcomplicate all the solutions. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Three more, and I get another heart. Okay, so we finally got that one after searching for it forever.
Now we had another shrine that I had noticed, and that would be this one up here. Let's get to it using the sky view tower. The Elden region is known for its mining operations. If you spot an ore deposit, take out a hammer and do some mining yourself. where that shrine is. Oh, hey, while we're here, I was curious about this. Is that falling into the depths? What the hell? Oh my god, it's going down into the depths. that one marked? No, I... Yeah, I do. Okay, never mind. Okay. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Well, it's just about time for me to take my break, so... I'll mark these with that, I guess. And I guess now we need to go back and do the tower again. And I also need to take a break. So if you guys will bear with me, I will be probably closer to six to eight minutes instead of my usual three and a half to five because I am going to make myself some tea on this break. As usual, I will be running some clips. So if you do have to watch ads, you will not be missing anything. At least, not anything of consequence. So, if now is a good time for you to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack if you need to, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Let me just, uh, there we go. So, I'll be back in a few. I mean, I don't need to understand everything, but I can say I'm pr plenty confused. Did a compi just knock my Jeep back? What the what happened there? Besides, I thought she was still weirded out that the librarian is now a woman. Oh, whoa. Temple Guardian. Calcium cost. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh god, the donkey. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> <You're t> <laughs> oh. I kept expecting some sort of, um, you know, gunship or something, which may still be coming, actually. Suspicious. Great.
You've been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Oh, we're continuing the tradition of Star Wars characters losing hands then. Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> oh, hi. Sorry, I heard. I'm bigger than him. I'm no bully. Mm. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. What? You idiot. This isn't very refreshing. I guess you forgot about our bottomless mug policy. Thank you. I do have The Witcher 3 for PS4. Oh, shoot. Nice. Not bad. Oh my, what? Okay, that's just cruel. What the hell? I can't fight it in here. Oh god, it's... You know what? I'm gaining stamina faster than it's draining health. And in fact, it's restoring my health too, so this is kind of toothless. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. Wow, not bad. Oh. Careful! Watch the hose! I forgot the grease is flammable. Uh, I know it's dangerous, but you have to leave the ship and neutralize those pirates. I will give you extra reward for that. Okay, we're going EVA, guys.
Fuck. Good job. Now. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> Double-bladed glow stick. Really? I think you got that. Okay. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. <laughs> Wow. These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. There we go. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy. Okay, guys, I am back. All right, we just came back to the tower after our interrupted journey.
Thank you, Mad. How are you doing, Mad? It's good to see you. I hope all is well. Thank you, Jim. So we're on our way to a new shrine that we haven't done yet. Well, new to us. It's actually a little weird to me that we haven't done it because that there is the great temple. Sort of just above my glider there. And we have done that. how we got that close without actually doing this shrine. Doing good, very little meetings today, so able to catch up on work. That's excellent. I am very glad to hear it. Interesting. Oh, so it's just a head. Not as far as I thought it was. Oh, that's it right down there. Okay, that's why. Kick again, shrine. because we're not up on the raised plateau. I get it. Shining in darkness. Well, this is different. I guess it makes sense they would have to have a tutorial. Oh. They would have to have a tutorial for the lights since they seem to have have tutorials for just about everything else. Now, is that gonna murder me? Or do I have to run into it for it to murder me? So that's just the light pedestal things. Oh good, it's a maze in the darkness too. That's uh...
have light. to a door inside a shrine of light. That was a good find. Can't help but notice there's another spot of light up there. I really want to be able to independently control the direction of this beam. I kind of hate that I can't. Luminous stone. the same area we were just at, but... Interesting. at the entrance. Oh, is this all we needed to do? It didn't give me the usual noise I get when I finish a shrine, though. It makes me wonder if I missed something. Okay. Well, it's not marked. Looks like I got it. Yeah. Okay then. Um, let's see, what's next?
What's the green marker I have? Oh. I don't believe we still need that one. We can get rid of that. We've never gone all the way out here. That seems to me like it should be a natural place to put something. I don't know if it's going to be a shrine. I don't know if it's going to be nothing at all. But it seems to me that we should at least check it out. see anything. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh, whoa! Oh. Oh, wait, that probably wasn't anything. I thought I saw something falling. I thought it might be a star fragment, but I'm pretty sure it was actually just our little buddy that makes us zoom around through the air. The Dorito guy. Ah, ah, there is a shrine. I knew it. Gemimic Shrine, Akala Highlands. Turbine power. Haven't we already done one or two that are similar to this? Maybe not quite exactly the same, though. Interesting. this up for power and then I guess we see what happens from there this looks very much like a standing platform I assume that's going to be so that we can jump into the air and that's just a light ah there we go that looks like we can use it to complete the circuit goes.
Now they've given us a few of these, which I find very interesting. That's fun. But now, why do we want that? And why did they give us extras? We haven't solved it yet. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Incorrect. Interesting. We overloaded the sprinkler system. I am very puzzled by that, though. There's really nothing that actually tells you that that's what your goal is. You just kind of have to assume it and keep going until you blunder into the solution. I will say that's impressive as heck, though. That looks really cool. Or maybe there is something that tells you, but I didn't pick up on it, whatever it is, if there is anything.
It's really just the existence of the other two flame emitters. There we go. One more and I get another heart. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Fight me. I should probably get rid of some crap bows. I should probably not use my torch. I'm not getting a scale from him today. So where to now? We've got a shrine there. Which actually means... Where is it? It's right here. There should be... There should be a thing there. got that light root. We've got that one. That's a lot of potential light roots. Let's head down in here for a little bit and we'll see if we can't find them.
go with the glow suit for now. Where are we? Okay, we're at the bottom of a pit. We need to climb back up out of the pit, and then we need to head south. Fancy schmancy guy. going more south. Toast, sir. <laughs> oh, we have a moblin over there. We could take him out and try to get his horn. Where is it we want to go, though? We don't really doesn't look like we need to take him on. It looks like we want to go more this way. That is a very interesting causeway over there. Let's check that out. Oh, I completely forgot when we went back to Lookout Landing. I needed to check on the statue that we supposedly need to use to... Uh, do this thing. Oops, yeah. Not really what I wanted, but it'll do. Oh, it's not a causeway, it's just a railing. What is this? Okay, so the purple one is the closest one. Or the uh the, the pinkish purple one, I should say. Stick mostly to the normal bright bloom seeds and getting very low on the regular ones or the giant ones. Ooh. There we go. Gotta be somewhere in that direction, either up or down. Okay, we're gonna have to go around.
Hey Bob, how are you doing? Good to see you. Interesting that there's already light down there. I kind of want to go down there, but at the same time, I kind of don't. And it also kind of looks like maybe I don't really have a choice. Oh, I think what happened is when the loot from the dead thing fell, the seeds planted themselves. That's why there's light. Okay, that makes a certain amount of sense. How's your day going, Bob? I hope everyone's having a good day. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Okay, so that's that one taken care of. Slowly trying to find where to stream all the old Ben 10 series? I don't think I've heard of that one. What is it? Animated cartoon show about originally an 11 year old kid who finds a watch that can merge his DNA with that of alien beings to then go fight the big bad of the series. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Uh oh.
Got me. Ow. Isn't it a Disney property? So maybe Disney Plus. I don't know. Original series is on Netflix, but the next series chronologically is not even streamable in the U.S. Yeah, that it bothers me when companies just fail to make stuff they've got available, even though they really could. Guys, still doing working. So fast, sir. Oh, he had some nice zonite. You get him. Found the series is on Amazon Teletoon in Canada. another iron box, which apparently is not the best. Hmm. Can't really do those things, can I? Oh, actually, you know what? I can. That'll 
do. Very nice. Okay. Oh, well, hopefully you can stream it. Oh, there's a freaking light route right there I didn't even know about. That is excellent. Ploymus Canyon Mine. Nice. Light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Five minute warning, guys. Five minutes for our next break. Anehi Light Route. Oh, and there's a Ploymus Canyon mine down here, too. Very, very nice. Alright, now we need to generally go northwards from here. More like there, I guess. Just watch. So show specifically where something is streamed, how much if paid, and how many seasons of something a certain service has. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've heard of that site. I wonder if it's relatively new. Looks like we've got a fair bit of a climb ahead of us, so I am going to go ahead and switch out to my climbing tunic. Oh yes I am, Jim. I am very, very eagerly awaiting Thursday so that I can watch the new episode. The new season is so good. I trust you've seen the third episode by now. That's the time travel one with Laon and Kirk. That is now firmly up there among my very favorite Star Trek episodes of all time. I would rank it along with the inner light.
And not just because it's set in Toronto. Although, that's part of it. A smaller part. Yeah, Lon's been so good this season. I mean, the actress is just phenomenal regardless, but they've given her an immense amount of character development just in the four episodes we've seen of season two. I mean, just in the first three seasons, she was kind of the, almost the main character in a big way. Like, she was the... Oh, God. I lost track. Crap. Um... Well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again, and I'll try eating partway up so that I don't run completely out of stamina. But uh, in the meantime, I need, do need to take a quick break, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? I wish we could speak backwards. Or what if yes you know. Yes, what yes you go. Like a J is way an old day. What'd you say? Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. <laughs> okay. Back. Hey, oh. You are in my backyard here, sir. Dead. Oh, I got the mandibles. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I've always kind of just thought that maybe it's um, another term for fast travel. Oh my god. Okay. It is another word for fast travel, but with altitude. Got it. These poor dinosaurs, they're being sniped at from all sides. There we go. Oh, nice! That was awesome! Nope, too fast. Darn. Hello. We are a good team. <laughs> 
if you think so. Technically, we're into November. Sniper now. ambush. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Oh, shit. Not now. Add snipers to the list, apparently. Okay. I am back. All right. Let's try this again. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll try to take it in stages to the greatest extent we can. So I'm going to go over there where I've already gained some altitude and I can stand, recover stamina, and then we'll start heading up from there. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find a place where I can ascend up onto the top of that, uh, whatever you call that, the sort of um, midair bridge. did a number on my health. I just noticed how low on hit points I am. Or sorry, how low on hearts I am. Yeah, that's one thing I really need to do, is get more of the climbing set. As much as I like the glow set down here, climbing is every bit as useful. Sometimes more. Oh shoot, right, you can't ascend while you're actually physically climbing. That's awkward. cut it for standing up, is it? No. But it also looks like we're just about at the top anyway. That's one of them. I don't believe that is... Yeah, that's the blue one. Which means that 
even though it looks really close, that's not the close one that we're going for, which is kind of interesting. Moving around. There we go. Okay, so it's probably hidden behind this. What is this? Hard to tell. Should have just thrown that one. actually have to use this health to Let's see what we can do. assumed that was a wall, but it kind of looks like that might just be a climbable area. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get up there. So what's everyone got planned for the rest of the week? What games are you guys looking forward to most this year? You guys already know my answer. It's all about the Baldur's Gate 3. It's all about Starfield. It's all about City Skylines. There are others I'm looking forward to as well. Um, you know, Final Fantasy 16 is out. I will play that eventually. Okay, I think I need at least my helmet. Far 
up are we going? Come on, this has got to be here. Starfield and Dune Awakening, the MMO based on Dune lore set in Arrakis. Looking forward to whatever new version of Skyrim they decide to release this year. Excellent answer. I have to finish Jedi Survivor, then it's on to Star Trek Resurgence. I have finished both of them, Jim. They are spectacularly good. Star Trek Resurgence was a bit shorter than I expected, but then I wasn't actually sure what to expect to begin with. I never really did get a good answer as to what I could expect there. Yeah, it has a lot of replayability. I chose a lot of options that maybe I shouldn't have chosen, and I fully expect that I would get vastly different results if I picked other options. Come on, where the heck is this light route? How high do I have to climb? We're going to end up back on the surface at this rate. I think this must be... Oh my god. Oh, I finally got there. Holy crap! <laughs> that was with maximum stamina. <laughs> we already did that one. We have the clip of it, Aranlar, in Breath of the Wild. There are a lot of back catalog games I want to get to, like Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh my god, Jim, you need to prioritize that one. It is seriously one of the greatest games ever made. Detroit Become Human, Control, and other stuff I've been wanting to get to. All of them are excellent. There we go, look at that. Light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Hey, Voidum, how's it going? Really hoping the Horizon sequel comes to PC at some point? It's only been about a year and a half, Jim Racer. It'll probably be another year and a half before it makes it over. But I have no doubt that it will. Yes, it is another route. Probably one of the ones that I'm looking for. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big sucker. 
That gave me lots of map. Nice. Okay, where was that other light route? Because there definitely was one. Where did you go? There it is. I probably snagged the tree right in front of me, but I'll see if I can get there. think you're only missing two or three routes. How many do you have so far? Aren't there supposed to be, I think it's 120? I still obviously have quite a few to go. Interesting. Oh, okay, that's not actually on the islands, that's right on the shore. Hyrule Castle and one or two more in the area you're currently working on. Honestly, you may end up finishing the game next week. I'm sure there's other side stuff you must be able to finish between now and then. This is one of those games... Whoops. This is... Uh-oh. Not today. Oh, nope, 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 no, nope. Not Dazzleford. Get out of here. I already have that light route? Well, I guess I don't really need to worry about that one yet then. 
Okay. got going on here oh that's weird what do they have I don't recognize the glowing red thing huh God, is this another massive climb we have to do? It probably is. Go poke it with the stick. One day. Oh, I hope this isn't quite as massive a climb as the last one, because I don't have any extra food with stamina. Pretty certain that's what Aaron Lore is hoping for, Ben. <laughs> enough, apparently. That helps. For science, of course, and content. this. another possibility we have the one light route that's seriously high up I can teleport there and see if we can glide from that point Okay, well, it removed my light root pin, but at least I've got this. Is 
That at least gives me a starting point. Or I could just retag the actual thing itself. That would probably be even better. Thank you, Aranor. I appreciate it. Okay. It's as high up as the other light route is. That tells me immediately it's not happening without food. So we're going to have to pop back up over here and I'm going to have to do some stamina cooking. Stamina. What do you use for stamina? That one's not too bad. Let's see if I can come up with some more, though. I should have a few things that we can use. I would think. Staminoka bass. I don't really have a lot of stamina food, do I? help a lot. That's a lot of stamina recovery. <laughs> well, I kind of forced the issue, Cammy. Anytime you cook with a golden apple, you always get the critical f cook result. It's automatic. That's one of the reasons golden apples are so awesome. Now let's try that again. The four Staminella shrooms with a golden apple and see what the difference is. Really, Greeny? What's the other one? Okay, so in this case, the golden apple just increased the number of hearts that I got. It didn't actually improve the stamina any. All right. That's fair. Um, boost your stamina beyond its maximum limit. That might be good, too. <laughs> Very nice. Enduring fried wild greens.
Oh, if you okay. See, I barely interacted with dragons at all so far. I wasn't aware of that one. That's good to know. That's cool. I did find the fourth dragon today. That was a bit of a wild surprise. Am I out of stamina? Okay. I think I might be. Damn. Oh well. Oh, but I might. I always overlook uh, the. Um, I always overlook the. What do you call it? The elixirs. Will things like the sticky lizard, if you make a climbing elixir, will it allow you to climb faster, or does it just allow you to stick better to wet surfaces? I'm wondering if that would help me climb better and quicker. Super nice to do with anything that's a timed perk with food because dragon parts force the 30 minute timer effect. Nice. Yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that's going to help me out. Resistant. Yeah, okay, so that's not going to help with my climbing speed at all. Low level slip resistance to keep you from slipping on wet surfaces. It's highly absorbent ingredients make it a must have for sudden rainfalls. Well, okay, so that's not bad to have. It's not really going to aid me in my current situation, but I'm probably at this point pretty well geared for the climb, so I don't know that we need to worry too, too much. Nice, enjoy your lurk, and it's good to see you. Uh oh. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know you were down here. So that is, that's their thing. I've got a lot more battery than I'm used to, I wonder. Uh, 
I mean, it's not an immense amount of battery. It's definitely more than I'm used to having, though. I'm gonna try making one of the greeny specials. second. I should have it in my auto build schematics if I'm not mistaken. Awkward. It's very awkward against a wall. Oh, does he? Okay, in that case, where is... See you, Yunobu. God, no. No, 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 no. Okay. the other way. Come on. Oh, no. This is impossible. I'm going exactly where I don't want to go. Damn it. Although, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Zerpy. Oh god, this is really tough. It got me a bit of extra altitude to start with. That's not so bad. Do you think Tears of the Kingdom or Final Fantasy 16 will get Game of the Year? I can't answer that one. I have not played Final Fantasy 16. And my... Uh, like, I don't actually care at all what various publications and awards give out. I only care about my own personal Game of the Year. And it's not going to be either of those. I'm pretty certain it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3, or Starfield, or City Skylines 2. Although this will easily rank in the top five.
I don't think that's going to really play into it, Zerpy. Baldur's Gate 3, I think it's going to surprise you. Oh my god. That was the worst possible time to ask me a question like that. I had all that food prepared, and I was too distracted to make use of it. <laughs> it's all right, Zerpy. No problem. <sighs> I'm going to try a different type of thing this time. Yeah, it, people always have this tendency to think, well, there was drama, therefore the damage is irreparable, this thing is done for, and it's never true. Or, well, okay. it's not never true, but it's really rarely true. Yeah, I think this is not close enough. I think we're going to run out of battery again. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm not gaining altitude very quickly here. I have to circle around a little bit, I think. Oh, there's another light route way out there. Oh crap! Not net. No, no, not not now. We're almost there.
Yeah, I don't think, honestly, I don't think Final Fantasy has any hope against Baldur's Gate. Uh, we finally made it. <laughs> this is the most difficult light route I've had to try to find. Baldur's Gate does have one undeniable factor that makes it leagues ahead of Final Fantasy, and that is ridiculous replay value. People are going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3 for years. I thoroughly enjoyed Tales of Arise, and that was definitely an action RPG, yes. Okay, now, ah, there's the other light route. Where is that? Oh, that, wow, that's a long way away. But it looks like we can walk at least part of it. Let's see if we can maintain our altitude and get across as far as we can. A little different from previous Tales titles. Well, the Tales series, it's been going on forever. It's evolved a lot. And I'm sure it will continue to evolve over time, too. I actually really want to try Arise as well. But I would probably try that after I get to Octopath, which I haven't yet gotten to. Ray, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Been a busy day, it was a shower day, then you had your first meeting with a new psychiatrist. I hope it went well. Probably go back to Octa 2 after you're done with tears. Oh, that sounds like a good idea, Greeny. been working for the last several days to give myself more time to work on things like clips and other off-stream playthroughs by just doing a massive batch of all of the uh, the shrine videos that I've been releasing to my main YouTube channel. I put one up every day and I've now got them scheduled out a good two or three weeks in advance 
so I don't have to spend a lot of time working on that at the moment. Oh. We've suddenly gotten a heck of a lot closer to that light route. That's pretty cool. Nope, not a bomb. There we go. Thank you, Kellen Ray. I have more still to upload as well. Then I've got to get back on downloading ones that I've clipped more recently. But I'm up to more than 50 Shrine videos uploaded, and they'll be going out over the next few weeks. Which means I've still got a lot of work to do in-game, finding more of the actual Shrines themselves. for you guys. Nice loot, though. That's a long way down. Holy crap. Just had to go to your new YouTube channel and change my notification settings. Hadn't seen a notification in a while. Turns out they had disabled notifications on you. I'm sorry to hear that, but thank you very much for turning them on. Yeah, those ones, the ones that I've scheduled, I don't post in the Discord or anything. They just kind of go up every day around noon, my time. So... I don't really expect people to necessarily know about them automatically or anything. But just so that you're all aware, they are there, they are going up. And people actually seem to watch them, which is cool. Uh, I have no idea where that thing went. Let's just try to make some progress getting closer. Thank you, Kellenry. Oh, that's so appreciated, Kellenry. Oh, by the way, one minute warning. One minute. We'll have an ad beginning in about a minute. Let's see if I can climb up here before that happens. I actually kind of doubt it. <laughs> I might have to accept a little gloom here. Maybe not.
Okay, we made it. But the animation's gonna take too long. So I'm just gonna pause here and we will actually get the route itself when I get back from my break. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it and I'll meet you back here shortly. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that, that was a little eerie. Oh, she's not dead. Interesting. Got him? Tabletops have the best return for me so far. For me, I think it's gotta be Rimworld. Oh my... not do that again oh my god <laughs> maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese you fool you've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god do you know what that means you brought about the coming of the divine dysentery run for your lives Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Was a bit preoccupied. Oh. Oh my god, how strong are these Dilophosaurus? Wow! Oh my god, so many... What is going on? Why are there so many dead people? Do we still... Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. Oop. Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. <laughs> oh my god. Haboob Dust Storm. From far off, people see the approaching wall of driven sand and scatter to seek safety before the scouring wind. Because this area just doesn't get enough weather hardship as it is. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal all right, I am back. Huh? 
Thank you. Thank you, Erinor. Okay. That's also quite an impressive amount of enlightenment. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's got to be one in here somewhere. Probably right around here. I'm going to guess that there's one there. And we get it by going east. Let's see if we can find it. close. That was very close. there. There's usually a big threat or something near those, at least from the ones that I've seen so far. So it looks like we've got a climb. Luckily, I didn't actually end up using my super stamina food, so I still got that on me. So hopefully this won't go too bad.
Nope, not too bad at all. There it is. Not too bad. Pretty close. My marker's a little bit off, but not too badly. There we are. Not bad. We have basically, I think that's, aside from here, that's the entire coast. So we just got to get those northern extremes of the coast and then we're pretty much good. Suddenly curious, I hadn't meant to spend quite so much time down in the Underdark today, but since we've gone and done it anyway, I want to just take a look. Okay, no, I don't... I haven't really been focusing on Zonite, so I don't have tons of that yet. Is it just me, or is getting so many of these light roots just making the overall ambient light of the light roots themselves brighter? I don't remember it being this close to daylight when we only had a few. I mean, maybe right under the light root itself? But I don't know, maybe that's just my imagination. I'm 
get up that slope there where it looks relatively easy to climb, so I gotta get across this stuff. Oh, no, that's danger route. Let's not go that way. see up here. Oh, wow. That keeps going a long way, doesn't it? Probably should have made some more anti gloom food. Damn it. Okay. Ooh. Ah! Oh god! I needed moblin horns, so maybe not so bad. Where are we? Shoot, I see what's going to have to happen here. We're not going to be able to make a straight shot for it. We're going to have to go all the way around inside, aren't we? Because the water is going to be a wall. Well, that's going to be fun. I'm sure they won't throw anything nasty at us. They would yeah. never do that. Never ever. Stop it. Yeah. Oh. What the heck? What is this?
This is the thing. Mine. Oh, very nice. Stop lighting your weapon on fire. <laughs> Light what I want. How's it going, Grogu? I am very glad to hear that. Okay, this is nifty. I wasn't sure what to expect here. Hello. are almost a better source of zone oh my god zonite than the mine itself so far at least maybe it gets better later thank you your horns please thank you
the other sage more bodies to target? What do you mean? Keep in mind, I have no idea what the other sages are or what they can do. Yeah. Ooh. Looks like it might be time to bring Yunobu out of retirement again. Thank you. Oh, you're not done yet, apparently. Nice. Oh. Well, that was not bad, but I mean, I was kind of hoping for a bit more. That's interesting. There's another side tunnel up there. Oh. It's not much of a tunnel, is it? Dazzle for uh, sketchy. It creates a bright burst of light which basically destroys skeleton enemies. Pretty much instantaneously. It's a very handy little trick that I picked up accidentally. Need to restock on Dazzle for the soon. Well, not any. I tried it on a skeletal Hinox and it didn't work on him. Although, it did do some damage and it definitely... Uh, it definitely staggered me. Are you kidding me? Got it. That's all right. We'll muddle through. They noticed me. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it would seem that the answer is no. Oh, now, now they have. Now they certainly have. Excuse me, sir. Cool.
feel like maybe I should see if I can make a better weapon here. I have this sturdy long stick. That might be good. How? Well, let's see. How far along are we? <laughs> okay, we're just beginning. I'm sure it can't possibly get worse the further we go, though, right? Um, Aaron Lore saw me go through this one. I'm sure it's fine. It's the worst that could happen. So I've got a Stalnox horn and I've got a blue maned Lionel Saber horn. Let's try this one. Nope, nope. Climb up the supports. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Of course, that guy's pretty close to dead now. last all that long. Nope, if it's got something attached, you can't attach another thing. But you can actually use the fruits on melee weapons. It's just that it doesn't really do you all that much good to do it. It gives you one shot, and then the fruit is lost and your weapon reverts to normal. Gents. You know, 
Shabu, if you would do the honors, please. Yeah, probably. If I spot it, that's great. If I don't, I'm not gonna worry about this one. Damn it. Should have been outlined in orange, so I probably ended up picking it up. want to do the honors here? No. Get him. Sit. Well, they got half. I like it when those little, it's those little guys. They're easy to kill, and they give me lots more seeds. I'm probably picking up more bright bloom seeds than I am using them. Get them, guys. Ow. Murder. What's wrong with you guys? Thank you. You blame Greeny? How so? Just is? Well, who am I to argue? Hmm, <laughs> 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 okay. 
Okay, do I have anything else I can get rid of? I can probably lose the Traveler's Sword. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Greeny. <laughs> That was not my intention. <laughs> two hundred and two zonite. This has got to be one of the best mines in the game. Holy crap! This is so good. to try to visit the continent. Ah, gotcha, Greeny, gotcha. Well, have a great time with that, and I will undoubtedly see you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure. on it this time. there. Look at this. I hadn't even realized, but we've made a heck of a lot of progress. This is pretty good. After this, I should have all the moblin horns I could handle for my armor upgrades. damaged. I guess I can't complain too much. It's lasted a heck of a long time. I'm really impressed with that weapon. 
It's a shame it's gonna be a while before I have the parts to make another one. <laughs> been waiting to see me dive this mine? Excellent. I don't know that we'll be able to finish it. It's already six o'clock, but I don't have to end right at six today. I can keep going a little bit longer. thing guys ah damn That's an interesting number of folk just sort of sitting there waiting. There's the light room. say that one's not too too bad I get helps that I had some badass weapons Definitely treasure. Ooh. Legend has it that this armor was once worn by a hero who battled the monsters of Twilight. There still seems to be some hair clinging to it. Looks like it may be from a wolf. Nice. They're up there. Okay. Uh. 
Come on, get ready faster. There we go. Hmm. Okay. light route, not a shrine. For some reason, I was expecting to find a shrine. I don't know why. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But I expected it somehow. <laughs> Nothing up here. Perfect. Nice. That was really fun. I like that. It was an awful lot of fighting, but... All in all, not so bad. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Man, I... <laughs> I got so into doing that, I actually managed to forget for a while that I was originally searching for the light route to begin with. I just kind of got into the zone with it. Where's my general healing? I... oh, I'm mostly out of general healing. I guess I could do this. Okay. Well, that was really cool. I think we'll hold off on the green one for the time being. Uh, we will come back to that one. What I would like to do next... I found another... Did I not find another... Was it at Kakariko? Forge Construct, I think that's the one. I gathered a massive amount of Zonite. I want to see if I can trade that in and maybe expand my battery even more. That w Yeah, it was really fun to play. I like that one. minute warning guys we're gonna have a break in five minutes that will be the final break of the night and then we'll keep going for a little bit see if I can get my battery upgraded yeah this is the one That's one energy cell. Okay. 
Perfect. Now let's go back over here. Imagine after a blood moon going back through that. I mean, if the Zonite respawns as well, and I do believe that it does, then I could see doing that on occasion. It's starting to become a little more clear to me where you got your battery stuff from, Greeny. <laughs> So we can get at least one more energy well then. Now, where is the statue that we have to talk to to deal with the Poe stuff? Because I've had that for billions of years now. I've never been able to spend any of it. I'm curious to know what it's for, what I can do with it, and how much of whatever that is I can do, given that I've got like 800. Having a clue, Keller. I don't even know what I'm looking for. So it might be right in front of my eyes and I just don't recognize it. to look at that after the uh oh wait a minute oh hmm? swordsman are you okay over there you looked like you were somewhere else just now uh i have to take the break we'll go through this as soon as i get back but now at least i know what i'm looking for so thank you so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, I'll be back in just a few minutes. We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Mock Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> the Grand Moffis, I love it. Know any good postal jokes? Oh, you bet I do. Why are postal workers such great comedians? They have a special delivery, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, this feels very precarious. Oop. 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 Okay. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, I'm calling that a win. Oh, that's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class.
<laughs> uh, uh, damn. <laughs> um. You leave her alone. Why do I always find the spider caves? I thought. Bone horror. Yeah. Oh God. I hate this. That was really no match at all. Gotcha. Get you too. Oh, sorry. Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable, and hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. Uh, we're going to be taking our first look. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. What are you doing in my house? My house. Okay, I am back. Thank you. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone, huh? We discovered it in the depths. Uh -huh. It looks both naturally formed and as though it's been carved into... We don't know much about it, as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> so, once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. You who stand before me. I am one who returns Poe's to the afterlife where they belong. Offer Poe's to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Poe's are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. You have already obtained Poe's. Yes, oh, this is indeed a Poe. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. One Poe got me a dark clump. I assume this is going to be a, you know, a case of diminishing returns. An unusual substance, it's cold to the touch and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. Oh. A tunic obtained by offering pose to the strange statue. It's a spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Kellenary. Dark clump is nice in rice balls. Excellent. Now, is there a remainder of this outfit that I should be aware of? Uh, 
My brethren, whose spirits reside in statues far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. If you offer me ten pose, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Okay. Go to the location indicated on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. So, that'll be how we get the remainder of the outfit then, I assume. Bargainer statue. That's really cool. Eight or ten total, very nice. Uh, where do we need to go? We need to go up this way. Plains Bargainer Statue. Oh, it really is huge. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the tunics of the depth depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. Oh my god. Wait, I have a lot of these already. Nice. That's cool. And now I have at least some rough idea of what I'm looking for, too. Some of the bargainers are more obvious than others. Remember that giant statue I had you climb the one time? That was one? I actually don't remember. Unless it's the one... Is it this one down here? Oh. <laughs> okay. I take it back. I remember now. They sell duplicates. Okay, that's good to know. I'm still not exactly sure where the statue is supposed to be, though. I mean, it looks like it should be right here. It doesn't seem to be working that way, though. 
Oh, underground? Maybe. I think I know how to get there. Nope. Wrong. Thought I knew. Hang on. familiar. I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Okay. So, I can't do anything with that one at the moment. guy must give hints to the other's locations probably probably but it is now getting on towards 6 30 and that means it's time for me to go but i will be back on friday of course so let's go back to lookout and we'll uh, we'll save there thank you calendary thank you for being here thank you everyone for being here that was really fun. We made some surprising progress in areas I didn't expect. All right. Let's save here. All right, guys, let's see if we can find somebody to raid. I have a pretty good idea who I'd like to go visit, but uh, let's check it out just in case. Ah, uh, yes, Greeny is playing The Witcher. CD, Crystal Dragon 22, is also on playing Sniper Elite 3. Skynix is playing Apex. Ms. Ash Rocks is just chatting. Mm, who else do we have here? Tracy Cola's on playing Dave the Diver. I've seen a few people playing that. I still don't have a great idea of what it's really all about or what it's like. Oh, Ellie's on. El Bell, she's playing Satisfactory. That looks like that's about it for today. Greenie? All right. Always happy to raid Greenie. Let's go with that. Have to go finish dinner? Yep, I gotta go start dinner. So let's go check out what Greeny's up to in The Witcher. So let me get you his link. There you go. I'm so happy the bot seems to be behaving itself relatively well lately. And I'll get you guys the uh, raid call as well. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh, It's a Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe emotes from another streamer 
or uh, emotes from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see how the Witcher's going, see what he's up to, see how many boats he's been able to crash since he started up his stream about half an hour ago. And I will catch you guys again very soon. I don't stream on Wednesdays or Thursdays, but like I said, I will be back on Friday. Don't know what we'll be playing yet, but it might be more of this might be fallout might be city skylines i want to do some more of that soon uh but whatever it ends up being you know it's going to be a good time so i hope to catch you back for that have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll see you in a few days Thank mm -hmm. you.